What's going on YouTube? Back again with another video here on the channel with the beautiful 77 inch LG G4. And in today's video, I just wanted to show you a cool little trick that you can do with your display, whether you have a C5 or a G5, or if you have, in this case, like mine, a 2024 model being the G4, if you've installed the latest software update that brought WebOS 25. So in other words, any display that has WebOS 25 in the LG lineup, you can do this trick. Let me show you. So what you do is you take your remote, and I know this might look a little different uh, depending on what model you have, but on this one I still have the old school remote. You just simply press the settings button three times and watch what happens. One, two, three. And there we go. A secret menu pops up, and I like to call it a secret menu because who's gonna be sitting there pressing the settings button multiple times like that in a row and not just, and basically stumble into this. But as you can see, you have some basic information about your model over there. You have the model number. So if you ever was like, man, I cannot for the life of me remember my exact model number, you could see that. It has some scrolling thing over there called model code. I don't really know what you would use that for, but it's there. Below that, you have your serial number if you need that. And then below that, you have your platform. So that lets you know if you're on WebOS 25 or WebOS 23, whatever you are on. And then below that, the current firmware version number that's on your display. Now, that's not necessarily the cool part. The cool part is what's going down on down there at the bottom. And you see you have three things right here. You have auto power sync, show LG logo when turning off the display, and no signal image. So for instance, show LG logo when turning off the TV. Now, I don't need to demonstrate this for you because if you already own an LG display with this turned on, what you're encountering is that when you power down a display, you'll see the LG logo pop up in the middle of the screen and then it turns off. If I disable this, it's just gonna turn off. Okay, I don't need to show you that. One. But this one right here is interesting because if you go to an input that doesn't have any signal, doesn't matter what's plugged into it, and you have this no signal image, what you're gonna typically see is gonna be like LG's gallery artwork or something like that. If you toggle this off, Let's see how that changes that. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle it off. And I'm gonna to switch to an input that doesn't have a signal real quick. All right, and so instead of seeing the LG gallery artwork, you get this right here, this no signal pong looking animation that should be jumping around the screen, there it goes. So it's kind of up to you. Would you rather see this when there's no signal? Or would you rather see the artwork displayed on the background? Myself, personally, I'd rather see the artwork. I mean, you know, I know that that means there's no signal and I'd rather have that on there than this. So, and because I'd rather see the gallery artwork, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that settings button three times. One, two, three, and there's the menu. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn this back on. So that's gonna do it for this very short video. Just wanted to show you a cool little trick if you have a display that has WebOS 25 on it. If you did enjoy this content, you found it helpful, you found it entertaining, and you wanna help support the channel, hit the like button. You hitting the like button lets YouTube know that you like this sort of content. It'll also put it in front of more people who might be unaware of that cool trick on their LG display. And if you're not subscribed yet, now's a great time. Hit subscribe and turn on the bell. I do a lot of videos with LG displays, not just the G4, but I have some C-series displays, etc. I do settings videos, I do software update videos, if any of that matters to you, hit subscribe and turn on the bell. But with all that being said, until the next one.